everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really fun fall treat for you. I'm using the Rustic Crate this week on my blog. Um, it's a great all seasons uh, bundle, but of course it has pumpkins, so I'm immediately drawn to the pumpkins. Um, this holds a Belveda pumpkin spice crunchy breakfast. I think they're like, yeah, breakfast biscuits. They're really delicious. And it just slides down in there. It's a very easy holder. Um, the tag is going to take you longer than the actual holder. Um, but I love the color, so I don't mind making these adorable little tags. All right, let's make the holder first. All right, you're going to need a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is two by 11. And we're going to score it at four and seven eighths and six and an eighth. And then it's just gonna fold up and be this U-shaped piece like this. This is a piece of very vanilla that is two and three fourths by seven. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at one and a fourth, three and a fourth, four and a half, and six and a half. And then all you have to do on this one is burnish those lines. Get your bone folder if you have it. And then we're just gonna put adhesive right here on this skinny strip. And then you'll fold that over and you've made basically like this little tube. All right, before we put our belly band on here, we need to make this little piece cute. And we're gonna use the Elegant Tag, Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch. And you just slide in your pieces, your ends, and it's gonna make that really cute edge like that all right see how cute that is and then just got all these little bits so just scrape them off throw them away and then we'll get our little breakfast biscuits wrap this around like that and then it just slides right on in to this belly band piece right here like that all right, so it's really simple. This would make a great little, um, maybe if you have a morning meeting or um, some kind of early event, these would make great little treats. All right, now let's do the really fun part, the stamping. And I am using very vanilla cardstock. And we're gonna stamp our little pumpkins and sunflowers, two of my very favorite things in the whole world. We're gonna stamp it twice. We're going to actually only color this pumpkin on one of them because we're gonna fussy cut that out and stick it in front of our little crate. All right, now let me grab my chair. I uh, do all of my videos standing up, but when it comes to coloring, I have to scoot that chair over. All right, let's start with pumpkin pie. And I am going to use my brush end of my, um, stamp and blend marker. And I know if you know me, I don't use my brush ends very often, but when I am co covering a large area, I do like to use the brush ends because it goes a little bit faster. So we're gonna go ahead and do both of those pumpkins. Color that all in with the, the light pumpkin pie. Now I'm gonna leave that open because we're not done. Now I'm gonna take my dark, and the pumpkin in the back is gonna be a lot darker because it's in the back, it's in shadow. So I'm gonna outline these things here that are in front of it, creating a shadow like that. And then I'm just gonna kind of go down those lines. And then I'll just blend all that together. Okay, now for our pumpkin in the front, I'm gonna outline those lines on the pumpkin I'm gonna do an outside edge line as well. And then I'm gonna come around the bottom like that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of color underneath the sunflower. All right, now I'm gonna take my light again and blend those colors, those darker colors towards the middle like that. All right, so then we'll do this one. Remember, we're just going to cut out this front little pumpkin sunflower combo here to uh, put in front of our crate. All right, so do that same thing. I'm gonna put an outside edge all the way around, really, 
And I'm gonna outline those lines. And then just a little bit, kind of tapping the color in underneath the sunflower. You wanna be real careful not to get the color on your sunflower petals. All right, there we go. There are our pumpkins, my favorite, favorite thing on this picture to color. Now let's take our Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna take my light Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna color in the whole sunflower. All right, and then I'm gonna take my dark, and I'm gonna add color wherever the leaves are overlapping, and the, or the petals. Um, the petals in the back are gonna just be completely dark, all right, because they are being covered up by those in the front. Now, the other thing that you can do is start with your dark. Color in those in the back and then add just a little bit of color coming from the middle. And then take your light and flick that color out towards the outside edge of those petals. All right, so, you know, depending on which way you like, that one ended up being a little bit lighter. So I think I'm gonna do that again over here. I'm gonna flick color dark out from the middle. I'm gonna color in those outside petals. Like that. And then we'll just take our light and flick the color out. The petals would be lightest out on the ends of the petals. Like that. All right. Now, let's take our old olive light and we'll add in some old olive light to these leaves. And let's see, we don't need to do anything on that one. And then we'll take our dark old olive Add in some color there, kind of where the veins are and where they're overlapping. Then I'm gonna take my light old olive again and come over here around these um, corn, um, oh, corn stalks, the outside part of the corn. Now for the corn, I really wanted it to be a different color than my sunflower. So I'm gonna start with Daffodil Delight Dark. And then I'm gonna take my wild wheat and give it a little bit of wild wheat color kind of around the edges like that. And last but not least, we need our crumb cake, which I believe is on my other project tray. Grab that, and we'll color in the center of our sunflowers. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna cut these out with matching, the matching die, which is right here. We're also gonna cut out this little hello, and we're gonna cut out this adorable um, crate. We've got a lot of things to cut out. For the hello, let's see, I have an adhesive, an adhesive sheet somewhere over here. We're going to put adhesive sheet on the back of the gold. Actually, no, I forgot. This is our new gold paper, and guess what? It already has an adhesive backing. I totally forgot. Brand new, online exclusive. You don't have to do anything to it. I, oh, I love it, and I almost put adhesive on it. All right, so let me clean this die out. You can see from the last time I used it, left those little doodads in there. We're gonna cut out the crate from pecan pie. And let's see if we can get almost all of this on here. I'm gonna use some post-it tape to hold this down. Uh, my plates are pretty warped and I, don't, I do not want the die to slip and have to start over with my coloring. So I'm just gonna add a little piece of adhesive tape there. We'll put our little hello down here. And then on our crate, this is such a fun crate. It has, one of the pieces has some texture on it. Let's see, where did I set down my other clear plate? 
here we go. Let's get this guy all the way on like that and run it all the way through. So now let's see, we've got this right here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this second piece out even though we're gonna fussy cut that pumpkin out, this die is gonna help us at least get halfway there with it. All right, here are our other pieces, our crate. I'm gonna show you how fun that crate is and how easy it is to put together. Um, this, this bundle has two options. You can um, stamp the crate or you can do what we're doing and cut it out of cardstock. All right, now let's put this crate together first. The, um, the score lines make you think you need to fold it backwards, but you actually need to fold them forward. All these little tabs like this. All right. And then grab your liquid glue and just remember, please remember, a, a little goes a long way. So I like to just kind of squirt it and then spread it around with a tip. All right, just a little bit over here like that. You could also use glue dots or tear and tape if you would like. And then you just take this piece and you set that down on those tabs like that. And then what I like to do is take something heavy and put on top of it to hold it down while it's drying. All right, so let's grab our paper snips and we've already cut out most of this. So I'm just gonna take my paper snips and go along the other side and cut the rest of this. And I'm gonna stay pretty close to that black line since there's so much other detail going on around the outside of it. All right, so there we go. And it looks right here like I need to cut in just a little bit more to get rid of any of that detail that's behind it. All right, and then we've got our hello, our adhesive ready hello, like that. Now, the other thing that I have done ahead of time is to cut out this um, stylus shaped circle. It is from the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. I'm gonna put our crate right there. Can you guys just see how cute that is? And this is gonna slide down into that. I mean, come on, how cute. I absolutely love it. All right, and then I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this as well. Slide that down into there. And then we're gonna put this right about there. You could, if you only wanna color one of these, you can leave this off, but I just wanted to add a little bit of something, a little bit of dimension to it, make it a little more fun. Plus, I just wanted to color more pumpkins. I love pumpkins. I wish we could have pumpkins all year long. I guess maybe they would lose their specialness if we did. All right, that little gold hello can stick right there. Let's see, we'll stick it down like that. And then I've got our new um, very vanilla and basic black um, gingham ribbon. We have another black and white um, buffalo check ribbon that's very similar to this in our annual catalog. But this one is vanilla, so it coordinates when you use vanilla as your stamping cardstock or you have designer series paper that has a vanilla um, neutral in it instead of the white. And then we're just gonna put that right there. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then last but not least, we're gonna take this and put that right there. And now you have a very nice little breakfast pumpkin spice treat that would go so well with your morning coffee to give out to your coworkers, your friends, family, whoever. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. I've got a free PDF of those measurements and the supply list and two other rustic crate projects for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.